Welcome to News Making Headlines on December 15th. Want to know who's the country's top three richest stockholders? Well, here you have it. Thaira's headline says, Tong Ma, champ of stock millionaires, 30 billion baht rich, owner of Muban Triksa, real estate magnate Kiri Kanjanapat comes second. But the top spot goes to Malinon family, which comes first with a collective 40 billion baht worth of stocks. Hujet Khan features pictures of three stock millionaires comprising Tong Ma Vijit Pong Pan, Kiri Ganjanapad and Anand Asawa Pokin. And talking about the super rich can only spur discussion about the have not. The red chaos is living testimony of public dissatisfaction and the wide gap between the rich and the poor. A Pujat Khan headline says, Raids burning down the country is one of top 10 news chosen by Tham.com. Tham.com, which is the website of prestigious Tham magazine, ranked the red shirt chaos as number 10 in its top 10 world news stories because the event shows deep divisions between the rich and the poor, those who are loyal to institutions and those who sign with populism. The story say that though the situation has calmed down dramatically, protesters' emotions are still burning inside and waiting to explode through protests again. Well, I hate to say Tom.com may be right, but for the sake of a united country, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope sense and peace prevail. The story of Ayutthaya drug mafia men has reached its climax after police nabbed another key suspect allegedly involved in the car shooting that killed 12-year-old boy Tommy. One Thai rat picture shows Nopadon Prasong Sin or Jip Pai Kiel being awoken from sleep and arrested at an apartment in Ayutthaya. Another photo shows him apologizing to the spirit of Tommy behind the Yaris, which he and his brother spray bullets at on Asia Road in Ayutthaya. His brother, Jok, was summarily executed by police a few days after the two shot up the car. Jif confessed he and Jok fired bullets at the Yaris merely because the driver overtook them, forcing them to miss their U-turn. The worst part is, this is not the first time the Tico Happy Brothers sprayed a car with bullets. Jif confessed that he and his brother have been acting like mafia men, shooting at cars at least seven times. Typos Excite cover headline says, Jeep survives, lucky to be sleeping, claims brother shot at boy. The report says police arrested Jeep while he was sleeping, otherwise he might have been summary executed like his brother. Police seized 10 million baht in cash from their alleged drug dealing. Meanwhile, in another major crackdown on drug gangs, Pujat Gan shows a picture of police rounding up as many as 539 drug dealers in 132 Bangkok communities along with ice drugs, cocaine, guns and ammunition. Well, needless to say, our police are sure efficient, aren't they? Lastly, ex-premier Thaksin Chinawat may just find himself in hot water. Authorities have been trying to pin him down with financing the dreaded Red Church protests in April and May and they will most certainly find evidence with this significant quote from him. Taksins was quoted in Thai Post as saying, Regarding the expenses of red shirts, MPs should take care, go and visit them, and come to me to reimburse their expenses. Write down all their expenses and I will pay all. Thai Post also runs a brass headline saying, Taksin directly finances rates. Well, the fugitive XPM is already in deep trouble and is anyone's guess if this quote of his will make any difference. That's it folks, have a pleasant day.